Hello and welcome to this short scratch tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to put points or how to put a score into your game. So um, you can see here I've got a very kind of simple game here. Uh, if you look at the code, the, um, the cat there will follow the mouse around and then he has to try and catch the balloon. So let's have a look how that works. See? So every time I touch the balloon it, it disappears or it moves to a new location what i don't have is a score okay and that's what i want to put in now i want to add a score to this so adding score is a little bit difficult to find um when you don't know but once you know it gets very very simple so you need to go down to the side over here that says variables okay and you need to make a variable okay so you click on this and then this will be the the name of you can either write points or scores, or you might have another another name for it. So I'm just going to go with points. Okay. All right. So you can see here, I've already got like a little uh, points uh, score up at the uh, up at the top there. Okay. Now what I need to do is um, I need to set it to zero at the beginning of each game. Otherwise, it'll, it won't reset. So that's a very important thing to do. Okay. So click the green flag. Set my variable to zero, but it needs to be set points to zero okay and then i'm going to go back over here so you can see over here um this is the code that i have when the cat touches the balloon and that makes it the, the balloon go to a random position but i'm also going to change the score or the points by one okay and it's as simple as that so let's see if that works properly. Okay, so click the green flag. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. There you go. Super easy, and it makes the games a lot more, a lot more exciting as well. So I hope you found that useful. I think it's really a really good thing to make your games just a little bit more exciting, a little bit more interesting, and it's really, really easy to do. You just need to find that variables, create a new variable, name it, and then code it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Nice and short, nice and easy. And if you like it, please click like, remember to uh, leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for listening.